Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Want your ex back? Do this now. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing, want your ex back? Do this now. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you need a clear plan of action. In today's podcast, I'm going to be telling you three things to start doing right now. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is prepare for reconnection. So this might seem something far out into the future. But if you want to try to get your ex back, you need to be planning now about how things will be if and when you reconnect. There is nothing worse than achieving your goal of reconnecting and then not understanding what you're supposed to do right now. How are things going to be right now? What are you going to be doing at the moment of reconnection? So the first thing I would like you to do at this very moment right now in your current journey is to understand, in your opinion, what you believe went wrong within your relationship. Unfortunately, if you have been dumped, This means that your ex, the now dumper, lost romantic emotional attraction for you. Now, this may be for various potential reasons, but you might understand clearly what some of these reasons were. Maybe they told you, maybe it was just obvious. So you now need to understand what you need to be doing to make things different in the future. How will things be different? Your relationship that you had with your ex, unfortunately, did not work out. This means that any new relationship with your ex is just that. It's new. It's not a continuation of your old relationship. That relationship is over. That is finished. If you get your ex back, this will be a brand new relationship, hopefully built upon stronger foundations. So what will you do? How will things be different? These are the type of things you need to be thinking about and preparing now to have any chance of a long-lasting forever future with your ex. Because although right now, you're not with your ex, at some point, if you manage to reconnect with them, that moment will come along very quickly. And you don't want to be standing there not knowing what to do, not knowing how to proceed, not knowing how to act. So I want you to be really considering what do you believe were some of the reasons that your ex lost romantic emotional attraction for you? Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it was all of your fault. This doesn't mean that it is down to you completely why the relationship ended. So if you want to reconnect with your ex, please consider everything clearly. This isn't about beating yourself up. This isn't about blaming yourself for everything, but just about taking accountability of some clear, obvious things that you could improve upon or you could make different. I'll give you a couple of examples. Maybe, for instance, you were accused of being complacent. Maybe you were accused of not moving the relationship forward. So right now in your mind, you need to be thinking, what could you do to be making things different? How could you be living your life with your ex if you reconnect in a different way? You might, for instance, be trying to focus on dating your partner more regularly, thinking right now of places you could go, things you could do, experiences you could have. If you're ex accused, you have not taken things to the next level. Maybe you can be thinking, right, you know, maybe one of the things that my ex wanted to do with me was to live with me. And we were living separately and I never made any suggestions or any ideas given about how we could get to that stage of living together. This is what you could be doing now. Planning your future. How much money do you have in the bank? How much money does it cost to rent where you like to live? How much money does it cost to put down a deposit and potentially buy a property? These are the things you can be spending your time thinking now, because even if you don't get your ex back, they're going to be very, very helpful and very, very useful for you moving forward with whoever you have a relationship with next. Because whether you get your ex back or whether you meet somebody new, you need to be making sure you iron out some of the mistakes that you made. Now, nobody's perfect. 
Your ex certainly isn't perfect and they would have made mistakes as well, even if they were the one who dumped you. Again, this isn't about blaming you for everything, but it is about taking some accountability as for why this may have ended and what you can do different so that you can prepare for the reconnection. So a little earlier, I said I was going to give you two examples. That first example was if you were dumped, perhaps, because you were complacent. Well, how about another example of where you were dumped because you took too many bad substances, according to your ex? Maybe this was alcohol, maybe this was something else. And your ex wasn't comfortable with you consuming these bad substances. And they said, look, I can't be with you if you're going to be taking these substances. So you might be thinking, well, I need help with this. I can't kick the habit without some support. So right now, you could be contacting a local counsellor. You could be reading online for advice and support about how you can do this. You could make sure you're living a cleaner life so that if and when you hear from your ex and reconnection takes place, you can showcase yourself as somebody who has made positive change and not just limited change up until the point of where you get back together. This needs to be long term. Now, of course, this needs to be for you. This isn't just about trying to get your ex back. If you are taking bad substances, then you should be trying to make a positive change for you. Of course, in the example I gave, your ex wasn't happy about it, but you need to be making sure this is for you and not just for somebody else. Because not only will it help you within your health and your fitness, but of course, it is also something that if you don't believe in truly, you're going to find it very hard to maintain. So using those examples, hopefully you can see why preparing for reconnection, even right now, is something you should be doing if you want to try to get your ex back. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about want your ex back, do this now. And point number two is create a new routine. It's so important to create a new routine to the one you had with your ex. Firstly, this is because if you are living a very similar routine to what you had with your ex, you're going to have constant reminders of your time with your ex, and especially the fact that they are no longer part of your time now. Additionally, if you're trying to live a very similar routine to when you was with your ex, you might not even be able to do the things you did in the way you did them because your ex is no longer a part of it. Maybe, for instance, you always used to go for a walk at a certain time of day each day, and now you're having to do this alone because your ex isn't with you. You need to be creating a new routine. You need to be distracting yourself and not thinking about your ex. And the best way to do this is to try to start afresh. Like I've said, you might not even be able to maintain the routine that you used to. But even if you could somewhat keep things similar, I would suggest trying to create things in a new and exciting way to give you things to focus upon, which is not your ex. Now, if you want advice and support about how you can increase the chance of getting your ex back by creating a new routine or any of the other hints, tips and advice that I give in my podcast, if you want this to be supported for you in your specific unique circumstances, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service, where I mean you can speak one on one about your specific situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. So when we're thinking about creating a new routine, it can sometimes feel quite daunting. And that is why I would suggest trying to get friends or family to help you with building this new routine. Asking to see people that maybe you haven't seen in a while, maybe mixing it up about if and when you used to see your friends and family. And of course, like I always suggest, joining new classes, groups and clubs are a great way to not only grow as a person and become a version 2.0 of yourself, but obviously, and of course, within this point number two, it helps create a new routine if you're attending something that you didn't used to attend. If you make the mistake of trying to live your life exactly as you did just without your ex, you will notice that they are missing from your life much more prominently than if you try and create a new routine, doing new things in a new order and having new experiences. So I strongly suggest right now, if you want your ex back, create a new routine. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about want your ex back, do this now. And point number three is write a list of traits. I want you to write a list of traits that you desire in a partner. And honestly, match those to your ex. 
Now, you might be thinking, well, I haven't seen my ex in days, weeks, months, even maybe years. And therefore, how do I know exactly how they are right now? Well, you don't. So you're going to have to do this from the memory that you have of when you were with your ex, because the likelihood is they haven't changed too much from that position. Most dumpers do not go through the growth that dumpies go through. So it's quite understandable and predictable to believe that your ex for dumper is going to be somewhat similar within the traits that they showcase. So if you're a dumpy, you're listening to this, you want to know something you want to do right now to try and help you get your ex back, I want you to write a list of traits that you desire in a partner and try and match them to the traits that you remember from your ex and just see how many match. Now, if you find that lots and lots and lots and nearly all of them do match, then of course you can see that you want to be trying to reconnect with your ex or finding somebody somewhat similar, although I'll try to make sure they don't look too similar. That can be very confusing. That's something I will speak about one day in a future podcast. But if you find out to your surprise that some of the traits that you're looking for are not actually matched with your ex, this is something that can really help you understand that maybe your ex isn't right for you. Maybe the reason your relationship broke down wasn't because of things necessarily that you did wrong, but just because you were not a good fit. Maybe you were once a good fit, but unfortunately for your relationship, you grew apart. If people are growing in different directions, then eventually they no longer fit well together. So you might be listening to this podcast and thinking, well, you know, this is about if I want my ex back, how is this going to help writing a list and potentially finding out that I don't even match the traits to my ex? Well, I would say to you is surely the only thing that matters is happiness. Surely the only thing that matters is living a happy, fulfilled life. And if you find out now that your ex isn't actually what you desire, as much as this may be a shock, isn't this something that could be very useful to you in your recovery and helping you move forward? Now, if you write this list, and like I say, every single one checks off, ticks off, matches to your ex, then of course, you can see the type of person that you want to connect with. And hopefully for you, it can be your ex. But like I said, just give it an opportunity, give it a chance to see if your ex really is the person you want. Because sometimes we think we want our ex back, but deep down, if we think about it clearly and obviously, they're not actually the right person for us anymore. So in summary, everything we've spoke about today is to try to increase that chance of getting your ex back in different ways. But one of the main ways that we can focus all of these points together is that it is trying to take your mind off your ex by doing something which is productive. So point number one is about planning and preparing about how things can be different if and when you reconnect. Because if you share a few text messages, meet up, it all goes great, but then you don't know what you're doing, then you're going to fall flat on your face. The relationship is going to end as soon as you reconnect, and that is not what you want. So point number one is so important to be focusing on that now, but whilst you're doing that, you're taking your mind off the fact of texting your ex, knocking on their door, etc., etc., because you're trying to prepare for the future in various ways to enable you to have a brighter potential connection later in the year, for instance. Point number two about creating a new routine. I mean, that is absolutely about taking your mind away from your ex and preventing yourself from chasing them because that is not going to help you. Your best chance of success is to live a busy life and removing your interest. And point number three, writing a list of traits will help you understand the person that you want, the core personality and physical traits that you want in a partner and whether your ex actually matches that. So all of these things together are going to enable you a better chance of trying to get your ex back and doing things now, which perhaps you wouldn't have done. Instead, you may have just been kind of sitting there thinking about your ex, fantasizing about your ex, thinking about when you're going to call them, when you're going to text them. That's not going to help. Do this preparation now to enable yourself to have a potentially much brighter future with them or somebody even better. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.